What is up my crazy subscriber? This is Joking John City 4 here bring us more Black Ops 3 multiplayer gameplay. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's gameplay because I managed to go 51 kills and 18 deaths. This is actually one of my first gameplays where I actually break out from the 50 kill. Because um well with the VMP, the highest I've gone so far was 49 kills and then I never hit 50. I was about to hit it a few times, but you know, somehow some way I missed, ended up messed up in the second half because I know there was some few times like in domination or in demolition or any other kind of game mode which requires objectives um, you know the first half I always ended up like with 30 to 40 kills and I'm super close to getting 50 but then I ended up screwing it up I don't know how but it tends to happen most of the time when I'm doing when I'm doing good in the first half and so um, so yeah so now I achieved it you know finally got 50 kills for the first time in a while in the beta I achieved 50 kills like in my first day in the beta so that's kind of a uh, lame that I achieved it like three days after the first day of uh, release of Black Ops 3 but it's good it's all good and uh, the weapon that I'm, I was using this whole time was called the Vesper now the Vesper I already talked about it uh, a few days ago and um, I told you guys I was going to do a best class setup. Well, the best class setup now, you know, since uh, um, from the last gameplay, it's already been updated and I think it's already it's already ready to go. You know, so the best class setup for the Vesper will be coming out this Thursday and I believe it's going to be helping you guys out when it comes down to close range situations. The problem is that this one is not stealthy at all. If you do add a suppressor, the weapon does become weaker and becomes lame and I don't recommend to use it with a suppressor. So... I suggest to keep it, uh, keep your ass moving out there. You gotta be very fast. You gotta use a specialist character, which allows you to see the enemies faster, or a way to get to get away from the enemies faster. Because once you shoot that gun, you're gonna be detected most of the time. So you gotta move your ass out there. If you guys do not move, you will die. So um, take this gameplay for example. I'm using the, um, you know, the first, um, you know, specialist character, which is the Seraph. I forgot what her name is, but um, she is, she does have this one special kill streak which allows you to see the enemies which is the impulse and um, I believe it's pretty good for this kind of you know classes because um, I'm gonna be detected super fast so um, I believe with this combination it sh you should be able to do good out there and be aware of enemies a lot faster with, um, once you shoot your gun so um, one of the ways I recommend to use this gun is by using it by close range you cannot shoot it off on long range not even bother trying it you're not gonna get a single kill keep it short keep it from short medium and that's it medium range um, Maybe it's a 50 50, but you know, this gun just rattles too much, and I have the grip on it. So, even with the grip, this gun is still not accurate from that kind of range compared to the VMP, which is kind of similar to this weapon once you add the rapid fire to it. So, I don't understand what's going on here, but I believe the VMP has more stableness than this one, so it's more of a complete all around gun. So, that, that's kind of weird, even though they have the same rapid fire. So, anyways. Yeah, the Vesper is beastie. I called in all my kill streaks. Actually, I only called in one kill streak. If I would have called in all of them, I, I pretty much believe that I would have gotten like around 60 kills or something because, um, you know, the, all these kill streaks that I have right now the Wraith and the um, the little AGR, and also had the Hatter or the HTTR, which allows me to see all the enemies, it would it would allow me to get more kills, but. I did not get to call them all because I kept being detected every time I shoot. So, I mean, I was just running around like crazy. And also, another problem that I faced was that this weapon finishes its ammo super quick. And also, without a perk, you cannot really go 1v1 against someone. So, I don't know. I got to still fix it up a little bit more once I got to fix up 100%. You know, it will, you will see in the best class setup on Thursday that uh, the Vesper, you know, has finally been updated and maybe even become better than what it is right now. Because right now, you know, this gameplay was taken like on the day of Friday. I'm not sure when it was. But, uh, but yeah, that's how old this gameplay is. So, anyways, yeah, you guys want to see more Black Ops 3 multiplayer gameplay in the future of this channel, subscribe for more, because it's going to be more tips, more gameplay, more thoughts about this game, and, you know, I'm going to help you guys out to become the best out there. I want you guys to get, like, around 30, 40 kills per game. So, um, so yeah, you guys missed out on my VMP best class setup deck. That weapon, I'm telling you, it's an all-around weapon, and I'm ready to post up more gameplays about that weapon so you guys can see that it is a badass weapon to use right now. It is one of the strongest ones right now, too, so... That's it guys, if you guys want to see more Black Ops 3, subscribe for more.
objectives met. Prep for evac. And that's a wrap. Overwatch signing off. One shot, one kill. Won't even hear it coming. <laughs>